Hey all, it is I, the Beast, another, yet another fantastic installment of Beastly Reviews. And also yet another fantastic installment of AEW Unrivaled Series 2 Unboxings. Yes, and today is a giant-sized episode because we have not just one, but two. That's right, two figures in one. Two for the price of one. But don't you worry, I'm going to try and keep it moving. I know that those super long videos aren't super, super popular and uh, probably not worth the proportion of work and effort that it goes into uh, for the level of uh, enjoyment that you guys get out of them. So I'm going to try and keep this relatively short because today there's a reason as to because it is in fact the Lucha Brothers. Yes, it is. Lucha Brother, Lucha Brother, Lucha Brother, Lucha Brother, Lucha Brother, Lucha Brother, Lucha Brother. Okay. So most of you probably don't know Jet Grind Radio, but if you do, bonus points for you. Anyway, let's start with one of the mainstays of Lucha Underground and AEW, one of the most athletic superstars in all of wrestling right now. Absolutely, he does incredible, insane things. Mr. Rick Phoenix. That's right. And uh, as you can see, the uh, packaging is fantastic as always. And let's just get right to the nice All right, there we go. So, uh, not a lot of bells and whistles on this one, but uh, that's okay because, as you can see, he's just basically, oh, that is quite the, uh, quite the pose. Anyway, as you can see, he's, he's absolutely covered, covered in tattoos. And I must say, the tattoo design on these figures is exquisite. They do a fantastic job to really make them look, um, look authentic. And, uh, although, okay, so this is going to be very difficult to see, considering that the lighting is worse than normal, but you can see there's like some sort of a red splotch on the bicep there. I do believe that is a tattoo. Yes, yes it is, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, sorry about that, but it looked almost like it was supposed to be some sort of a contusion of some type, which, um... You'll see why I thought that in the next video. But regardless, uh, for now, yes, as you can see, uh, excellent uh, design on, on these uh, on these tights right here. Black and silver, very uh, reminiscent of the Oakland Raiders, who I don't care at all about. Uh, not really sure. Uh, oh, okay. So I was like, not really sure what that means, but now I read it, and it's like, next to King, of course it is, of course. It's got the mask right there. It's got a bit of a... Mohawk ponytail sort of thing going on right there, motif, black and silver sort of uh, design on the on the tights. He's the Mexican king, according to the uh, according to the knee pad, which I'm I've never actually doubted a knee pad before, and I'm not about to start today. This is actually a new design on the boots right here. The the uh, the kick pads. They this has not been released before, so they're not. Like the, I've got to give them, Jazzwares is not uh, going crazy reusing parts, so I really have to give them props for that as well. Uh, as, you, as I said in the previous video with MJF, I'm over the moon for these figures. Um, unlike other wrestling figure companies, the um, articulation is, is, is fluid like butter. And, ah, everything, nothing sticks. There's that lovely... Bone crunching sound. I don't know how well this comes across, but it has a fantastic bone crunching sound. Everything moves very well, and uh, and you can pretty much do most of uh, most of the crazy acrobatics that Ray Phoenix is able to do. So uh, another another solid uh, figure right here. I'd have to give this a nine nine or a ten out of ten. I really can't think of anything that I would that I would take away from this. But, which brings us to the next figure, his brother, Penta El Cero Miedo. Or otherwise known as Pentagon Jr., which he no longer refers to himself as. But regardless, another mainstay in Lucha Underground, just like his brother Ray Phoenix. Uh, this team was definitely something that I had to pick up. I'm really excited about both of these. But uh, I'm going to stop blathering on and open the figure, shall we? Unboxing! Unboxing! That might be the new theme song for these reviews. As you can see, he actually comes with a bonus hand. Now that's one area where... Mattel so far has uh, has sort of um, beaten our uh, AEW figures in the accessory department because these are all very bare bones. MJF came with the scarf. Ray Phoenix comes with nothing except for the tattoos, but they look they, they look very very good. So I can't really complain too much about this. But um, 
tend to come to the bonus time, which is actually very useful because this uh, he's doing his his famous uh, his famous pose, El Cerro. Yeah, I, I'm, he's, I'm not even doing a very good job here, but but uh, Cerro Miedo. Yeah, this is this is really really okay. Pathetic. Not not a good job on my part right here. But uh, I don't blame the folks at Jazzwear for this. It's pretty much. It's more like this actually. But uh, nevertheless, it comes with that hand. And if you don't want to be doing that constantly, you can switch hands out. So uh, I believe the last figure that came with numerous hands was Kenny Omega. Maybe Jericho actually, because I believe he had gloves as well. But as you can see, has a really cool sort of skeletal sort of design on the art. He's got this. Uh, he's got this loincloth sort of thing covering the junk. Which is always good because no one wants to see that, especially if, uh, if children are going to be present. Uh, similar to his brother, he comes with uh, with excellent design of tattoos all over the arms. Quite a few of them, as a matter of fact, and I must say, excellently expertly placed. He's got the mask as well, and he's got that uh, all too famous like ah, tongue out face. Another fantastic effort, and yet another another new uh, kick pad piece. So. Another and also another another one that has designs on the knee pad. So I have to say another fantastic figure These two figures easily 20 right here. I mean if you if you want to get a, a damn good tag team for your collection Someone that just looks very unique and, and just really cool looking figures right here You got to pick up the Lucha Bros from series 2 and um, if you think that this video is pretty cool look pretty cool Please like subscribe Beastly Reviews Instagram, Beastly Reviews Twitter, Beastly Reviews on YouTube, which is the home of it. Now there's one more video on the AEW extravaganza, and it's John Moxley, the former World Heavyweight Champion up until a week ago. But uh, until next time, I hope you had a fantastic day, and I hope your days are just as fantastic as this video hopefully was. Fear not, I will be back shortly. See ya!